Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to Fat Cat Collection. So today I want to share with you guys another product for your entertainment system or your uh, your home electronics. And it's, a, it's another universal remote control. And uh, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys, have, you guys know I've reviewed several different, uh, what, what I would consul, consider add-on remote controls. And one of the companies that I work with uh, is a company called Sofa Baton. And every time they come out with a new product, uh, they're nice enough to send me uh, a sample to review and share with you guys. And and one of the products they sent me, I want to show you the original product that they sent me, uh, which I think is fantastic. It's something I use pretty much every day. And it is a the original sofa baton. And what it is, is basically an add-on universal remote uh, for your Fire TV. Now they do make these in Roku versions, which I think I have, I do have a couple of these right here. Uh, and this one here is a actually a uh, replacement Roku remote. If you have a Roku box, uh, this replaces the remote that came with your Roku, but adds the addition of these pre -pro these programmable buttons on top. And the idea behind this stuff is it alleviates the the need to have several different remotes lying around. So I love this because I'm a huge Amazon uh, TV or Fire Stick user. I use it pretty much on a daily basis. And what this does is this one here allows you to take your factory Amazon Fire Stick remote and you slide it right inside the cage. And now you can turn your TV on or off. You get two different buttons. So I use one of these uh, for my sound bar and then one for the TV in my bedroom. And then if you want to change the volume, you have different uh, functions and input buttons there as well. It allows you to have basically the main buttons you use for your TV uh, with your Fire uh, TV remote. So pretty cool invention. Uh, love it, use it all the time. And they reached out to me the other day and they were nice to send me their brand new Sofa Baton U1. And this is a full-blown universal remote. And I want to talk a little bit about it today and talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Uh, so first off, um, naturally, uh, it's a good looking remote. I mean, it's you know, I mean, and there's so many different remotes out there, right? So many universal remotes. And I will say one thing um, about this remote that I do like. Well, let me start with just your, I'm not gonna go through all the buttons. It's laid laid out pretty well like you would expect in any universal remote control. Um, it has kind of a handheld grip, uh, which is kind of weird on this because it's got kind of uh, finger grooves here, but the way you hold this, um, I'm not really sure if they're meant for your, they feel more like they'd be for your index finger as opposed to, um, cause you wouldn't really hold it like this. You'd hold it back here and use your thumb to press the button. So it might be some pl place to put your, I would assume, uh, do, based on common sense, maybe your, your forefinger would go there and your palm holds the fatter end of the remote. Um, it has, it's a little hard to see, and you're not gonna be able to see on the video, but there is a display right here. There you can go, you can kind of see it there, kind of flickering and then you have a scroll wheel. And what this does is any device you program into this remote, uh, it'll show up there and you can name the device exactly what you want. So here you see Vizio TV, and then I have Sony, uh, that's my receiver for my bedroom, and then of course the sound bar, and then the T Roku TV downstairs, and then the, surround the Kenwood receiver downstairs. So what I've done is I've, I'm gonna use this downstairs because uh, in my bedroom, I really don't have the need to have a lot of different remotes. And so this will allow me to, in my downstairs, if you've seen uh, my video I've done, uh, my home tour, my smart home tour, um, I have two TVs downstairs. I have a wall mounted 70 with an awesome, uh, sponsored by Vizio Dolby Atmos soundbar. Uh, very clean, I didn't want to have a lot of clutter of speakers and all stuff. And then I have a built-in wall cabinet, which is my original TV, uh, which I already had in there, a 48 inch Roku TV with my Kenwood uh, receiver and 5.1 system. Uh, on wall flat panel speakers. Uh, there's basically two surround systems in the room. Check out my video on that. It's really clean. You wouldn't think there's that much audio equipment in the room and it sounds great. Um, now, would I have the Roku 48 if I didn't have the 70? No, but I already got it. Uh, I decided, okay, well now's the time I want to wall mount the TV, so that's what I did. So I have two TVs. And it actually comes in handy uh, when, when my folks are over, or my folks are over, or, or company, and we're trying to figure out what to watch, and we can go ahead and you know scroll through the movies, and on the other TV on the side, I can go ahead and put on a, uh, you know, a trailer or a preview, so we can decide if we want to watch or not. So um, it does get used, but uh, nonetheless, I use this remote for down there because now I have one remote that I can cycle back between the Roku TV or the Vizio, or the different uh, receiver, sound bar. And this you can program any device you want. So what's nice about it is um, it is Bluetooth powered via the app. So you have an app on your phone. I'm not gonna go through the app today, but basically what you do is uh, they really, they've really taken um, 
they really made programming universe remote very, very easy. And what you do is basically you connect your phone to the remote control and you select your brand or whatever brand you want to program in there, receiver and TV and cable box. Seems to be the real three that they have. They haven't added a lot of different functionality to other devices. Uh, for instance, I couldn't find my NVIDIA Shield, which I'll, I'll want to talk about in a second. Um, there's several different devices. You can find most of your receivers, but if you have kind of like, um, you know, maybe it's kind of the odd end devices, you have to program those, which is nice because you can add a custom menu, you can add a custom name, and you can, it's a little time consuming. You basically, uh, you select, you know, program on the phone, the phone will tell you to press the button on the remote, and you point your, the one you're gonna learn. So let's say I wanted this remote to learn the power button on this, you point it and this will re, uh, remember the, the code. So it's a nice way if you have some old remote controls laying around that you're, you know, you're worried, geez, I hope this thing never breaks. Uh, you can back it up with this. A little time consuming. You're not gonna have all the buttons uh, perfect like you would on say a receiver because when you look at something like a receiver remote, I just happen to have this Yamaha, uh, there's a lot of different settings on there that you're just, you're never gonna know what, what's what on this. So for this is really meant for basic functions, volume, channel up and down, uh, your, your uh, cursor button, your okay button, uh, your play, pause, stop, your basic stuff like that, mute, and a few of your buttons down here like uh, ch you know TV channel and whatnot. Um, so um, I think it's pretty useful because most of the buttons that I use downstairs really when I'm watching a movie uh, is really scroll because I use a lot of these smart apps like Netflix where you don't have to really enter anything in. You just basically, you know, select it. I use uh, Kodi. I use a lot of my home, uh, my, my network drives to stream a lot of movies. Everything's digitally backed up. So for me, this is very easy. Uh, it allows me to scroll through with ease and jump between different products. Uh, easy to program once again with the app. Um, and this is a Bluetooth or Bluetooth remote as well. So um, I didn't try syncing it with my Fire TV or my Fire Stick because upstairs I have this remote and that's what I use in the bedroom. Downstairs, I don't use a Fire Stick. I use the NVIDIA Shield, which is the best Android box you can get. I definitely recommend the uh, NVIDIA Shield over any Fire TV or Fire Stick device out there. Um, it's just, it's way better. I have way, way less problems with it and it just works perfectly. Uh, but with that being said, you can program an Amazon Fire Stick remote uh, to the NVIDIA Shield or any other Bluetooth remote. This would not sync up or be, pro be able to be uh, paired is the exact terminology, with my NVIDIA Shield. So I don't know why, I'm not really sure if it's a problem with, because you would think if this would work with a, uh, which I didn't try it, so they say you can use this, there's an option on here to program this with a Fire TV or Fire Stick. I didn't try doing that, but, um, and I, I will review this at a later date to let you guys know whether that works or not, because that's a real selling feature, be able to replace your Amazon Fire Stick remote, uh, which is something that, you know, they've kind of, that's their whole claim to fame is integrating a universe remote with a Fire TV or Fire Stick remote. So um, if you can't use this with a Fire TV, um, um, you know, that's kind of useless, but I'm pretty sure you can. Again, I haven't synced it up just because I have no reason to do that. I want to use this downstairs. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to use this though with the with the Nvidia Shield. And I will come back and review it. Maybe I did something wrong, but I tried it four or five times. And you would think if this would sync with a um, or, or pair with a Fire Stick, and the Fire Stick remote pairs with a Fire Stick, and then the Fire Stick remote pairs with the Nvidia Shield, that this would common sense tells you this would uh, would uh, pair with the Nvidia Shield, but it just wouldn't. So not really sure about that. Um, other feature I like about it is that when you pick the remote up. Uh, it has a motion sensor in there, so your display will turn on. Uh, the only thing that I think they could have improved on this is, you know, one thing I like about the Xfinity remotes is that when you pick it up, the whole thing lights up. All the keys are backlit. So I think a real improvement to this device, uh, putting the, you know, some of the things I've mentioned aside, um, a real improvement that would really knock this remote out of the park is to backlight. And hopefully maybe when they come out with the Universal 2, usually they'll, they'll add, you know, self baton, one or two, um, and this is again uh, the Silf Baton U1. I assume that's Universal One. Uh, hopefully, when they come out, maybe a U2, or maybe this is this one here. I don't think is in full production yet, but uh, that they'll make this backlit. And I think it's definitely worth the money um, to have this backlit because I, I used it in bed the other day and I picked it up, and that was great to see it display light up, but I couldn't see any of the buttons. So uh, that's my only real gripe I have about this remote. Uh, most universal remotes you buy nowadays have some sort of backlighting. And in today's day and age, uh, even if you didn't want to have a motion sensor in there to you know have it automatically light up, 
very easy to put a little button on the side and back like this with some LEDs. So, sofa baton, real improvement would be to back like this because it's definitely something that people uh, want to be able to use this in the dark. And for me, I mean, I have black sheets. I'm always losing remotes in the bed. So, uh, overall, though, I want to thank, uh, I think, overall, I think it's a pretty decent device. I think it's pretty cool that you can program it a lot easier rather than having to, we all know when you have a universal remote in the past, there comes to that time where you need to program something. You're like, shit, what do I do with the box? What do I do with the program codes? This is easy. The app's always on your phone. If you don't have it, you can download it. All the codes are, are preloaded, um, automatically updated. So any device you want to add to this, uh, within reason, you know, the main ones on here, uh, without having to do any kind of code learning, are your, um, your TVs, your uh, uh, cable boxes, and your... I believe DVD players as well, but your uh, receiver. So that was really easy to set up. But again, uh, for me uh, to use this with my receiver, there's a lot of buttons on a receiver that you kind of need to see what they are. Uh, this gives you the basics. So I'll uh, be able to turn your receiver on or off, change the volume up and down. It's great. Uh, if your receiver had on-screen programming, the cursor is going to be great. Uh, but overall, I think this is really a TV cable box universal remote. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you, Sofa Baton, for your generosity in sending me the remote. I'll definitely continue to use it. I'll come back and re-review it at a later date and tell you guys uh, if I still am enjoying it if it's something I stopped using. Um, uh, Sofa Baton is awesome. They're always sending me cool products. And again, I like the idea that you can use your the app to program this. It makes it very, very easy. Only downside to that is not everybody has a cell phone, believe it or not, nowadays. Uh, some of our older folks don't always have the smart device or the smart phones. My folks have just a basic flip phone. Uh, so to program this, they would have to use their tablet, which you could do as well. So uh, just kind of, you know, food for thought. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, once this product becomes available, I will put a link in description. Um, if it is available through eBay or Amazon, I will link it now. But um, hey, let me know uh, what you think. And guys, thanks for watching. If you like the content, subscribe. As always, guys, have a great day. Take care.